Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of Biblical and Secular Historical Literature. So, enjoy. How the Egyptians became members of the great white race. In the last video, we examined a statement made by John G. Jackson, an historian and writer, regarding a deliberate cover-up by academia and a super-wealthy philanthropist to conceal the racial identity of the ancient Egyptians in exchange for financial support. Modern nation-states employed archaeology to promote national identity in terms of presenting a positive portrayal of their country. Archaeology is political and is employed to construct nationalistic themes for the past. Archaeology as a study of the past is dominated by attempts of nations to resurrect their greatness in the past. So, let's recap the story. John G. Jackson. I think they're trying to cover up something. The real history of the world. A lot of them, academics, power elites, have taken the position that the African, the Israelite, is the low man on the totem pole and everybody had to be ahead of him. Some of these people are just plain lying because they have to have capital in order to operate. James Henry Breasted is a fine example. This is just one example the whole academic world followed this path. He published a high school textbook in 1916 called Ancient Times. It had two very fine chapters on Egypt and he plainly states in there that the ancient Egyptians were not white folks, but a brown skinned race. Egyptians are the children of Mizraim, son of Ham. Genesis chapter 10. DNA analysis shows Egyptian Pharaoh Ramesses III of the 20th dynasty had Sub-Saharan African haplogroup E1B1A, now called EM2. And then he, Henry Breasted, needed money to establish the Oriental Institute and to do research in Egypt. The Oriental Institute. The Rockefellers.
John D. Rockefeller Jr. gave him $1.5 million. And then Breasted got out a new edition of his book. And the Egyptians became members of the great white race. Americans too saw world history in racial terms and a more explicitly political racial discourse on ancient Egypt soon surfaced in the work of American Egyptologist James Henry Breasted. In his 1926 synthesis of the history of the ancient world, the conquest of civilization, Breasted placed the ancient Egyptians in the great white race, notwithstanding their tanned skins. This great white race included the Egyptians or Europeans and the Semites of the ancient Near East. These peoples were responsible collectively for the creation of civilization. So, who are the great white race? The founders of civilization, the Caucasians of history and archaeology. The great white race, Caucasians of archaeology, Caucasoid skull, Northwest Europe, East Europe, South Europe, Turkey, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, North India, India, Horn of Africa, Middle East. The term Caucasian race, also Caucasoid, Europoid, or Europoid, has been used to denote the general physical type of some or all of the populations of Europe, North Africa, the Horn of Africa, Western Asia, the Middle East, parts of Central Asia, and South Asia. Historically, the term has been used to describe many peoples from these regions without regard necessarily to skin tone. Theory of Geographical Races The Geographical Human Races This map shows where the major geographical races lived before the great period of overseas exploration began in the late 1400s. The color areas indicate the approximate extent of each race. The map does not show the present day distribution of races. European white geographical race in blue. Europe, Middle or Near East, North and East Africa. Geographical races, European, sometimes called Caucasoid, includes populations throughout Europe and the Middle East and north of the Sahara. Members have lighter skins than the people of any other geographical race, though many people in the southern part of this region have dark skins. Many people in the southern part of this region have dark skins. India, Horn of Africa, Horn 
of Africa. Map, Horn of Africa. Resource rich, Horn of Africa is a strategic region located near oil-rich Middle East, Eritrea, Sudan, Djibouti, Somalia, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya. Hamites. Hamites is the name formerly used for some northern and horn of Africa peoples. The term was originally borrowed from the book of Genesis, where it is used for the descendants of Ham, son of Noah. The term was originally used in contrast to the other two proposed divisions of mankind based on the story of Noah, Semites or Shemites and Japhites. The appellation Hemetic was applied to the Berber, Kushites, and Egyptian branches of the Afro-Asiatic language family, which together with the Semitic branch was thus formally labeled Hemeto Semitic. Beginning in the 19th century, scholars generally classified the Hemetic race as a subgroup of the Caucasian race alongside the Aryan race and the Semitic, thus grouping the non-Semitic populations native to North Africa and the Horn of Africa, including the ancient Egyptians. The early anthropologists classified the dark complexioned people from the Horn of Africa as Caucasians, including the brown skinned ancient Egyptians. Originally, the term Caucasians applied to the nations that were located in the lands of the biblical Shem, Ham, and Japheth, regardless of complexion of skin. In his influential, The Mediterranean Race, 1901, the anthropologist Giuseppe Sergi argued that the Mediterranean race had likely originated from a common ancestral stock that evolved in the Sahara region in Africa and which later spread from there to populate North Africa, the Horn of Africa, and the Circum Mediterranean region. According to Sergi, the Hamites themselves constituted a Mediterranean priority. He added that the Mediterranean race and its external characters is a brown human variety. The children of Shem, Ham, and Japheth were also called the Mediterranean race. The Mediterranean race was said to have a brown complexion. Wikipedia, Mediterranean race, was a historical race concept that was a sub-race of the Caucasian race as categorized by anthropologists in the late 19th to mid 20th centuries. According to various definitions, it was said to be prevalent in the Mediterranean basin and areas near the Mediterranean, especially in Southern Europe, North Africa, most of Western Asia, 
the Middle East or Near East, Western, Central Asia, parts of South Asia, and parts of the Horn of Africa. In cream to tan or dark brown skin tone. Caucasian race. Cream to tan or dark brown skin tone. Giuseppe Sergi's much debated book, The Mediterranean Race, 1901, argued that the Mediterranean race had likely originated from a common ancestral stock that evolved in the Sahara region or the eastern part of Africa in the region of the Great Lakes near the sources of the Nile, including Somaliland, and which later spread from there to populate North Africa and circum Mediterranean region. Sergi added that the Mediterranean race and its external characters is a brown human priority. African Great Lakes region, origin of the Mediterranean race. Wikipedia, Mediterranean race. Late in the 20th century, the concept of a distinctive Mediterranean race was still considered useful by theorists, such as Ernest Houghton in Up From the Apes, 1931, and Carlton S. Kuhn in his revised edition of Ripley's Races of Europe, 1939. These writers subscribed to Sergi's depigmentation theory that the Nordic race was the northern priority of Mediterraneans that lost pigmentation through natural selection due to the environment. Mediterranean race, Mediterranean race, northern priority, the pigmented branch. The Fulani people. A distribution map. Fulani. The ruling class of Zera, a city in Nigeria, were Fulani. A light boned, light skinned people, classifiable as members of the Mediterranean division of the Caucasian race. Mediterranean race, Caucasian race. The plural society in the British West Indies, page 131. Wikipedia, Fula people, the Fula, Fulani, or Fub people, are one of the largest ethnic groups in the Sahel and West Africa widely dispersed across the region. A significant proportion of the Fula are pastoralists, as well as sanitary settled farmers, scholars, artisans, merchants, and nobility. Fulani, Mediterranean race. Caucasian. Anthropologists used 
specialized language and terms to describe historical ancient nations that may have contradictory meanings to the average reader. It was important to accurately record history but not upset the status quo. Dark complexioned nations were reclassified as Caucasians who are described as light skinned white to dark brown in color black. Historians hid the truth in plain sight. According to Sergi, the Mediterranean race was the greatest race of the world and was singularly responsible for the most accomplished civilizations of antiquity, including those of ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, ancient Persia, ancient Rome, Carthage, Hittite Anatolia, land of Punt, Mesopotamia, and Phoenicia. The four great branches of the Mediterranean stock were the Libyans, the Ligurians, the Pelagians, and the Iberians. Ancient Egyptians, Ethiopians, and Somalis were considered by Sergi as Hamites, themselves constituting a Mediterranean variety and one situated close to the cradle of the stock. To Sergi, the Semites were a branch of the Euro-Africans who were closely related to the Mediterraneans. He also asserted that the light-skinned Nordic race descended from the Euro-Africans. According to Robert Renouf Merritt, it is in North Africa that we must probably place the original hotbed of that Mediterranean race. Wikipedia Mediterranean race. Archaeology is political.